Earlier this month, Seoul approved the production of additional K2 Black Panther main battle tanks. For roughly $1.5 billion, the new fleet of armored vehicles will join the 260K2 South Korea has already ordered and received in recent years. Seoul's Defense Projection Promotion Committee noted that, by acquiring additional K-2 tanks through this project, we expect them to greatly contribute to enhancing the Maneuver Corps' capabilities to carry out offensive maneuver warfare. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has put an emphasis on the role tanks play in modern warfare. South Korea's K-2 of may be the most expensive tank in the world, but it is also perhaps one of the most lethal and capable on the battlefield. Some even say it is the best tank on Earth. Origins of the K-2 Black Panther Seoul's next-generation MBT evolved from the XK-2 program in the early 1990s. South Korea before that time had relied heavily on foreign acquisitions to fulfill its defense needs. In the 1970s, Seoul used upgraded American-made M48 Patton tanks. Seoul eventually acquired the K-1 MBT, which was the American-made M1 Abrams delivered to South Korea, but the South Korean government wanted to increase its indigenous defense manufacturing capabilities. Seoul-based engineers began developing a new operational K-1 variant, and they simultaneously began work on a completely new and homegrown prototype. Hyundai Rotom, a Hyundai Motor Group subsidiary, developed the K-2 Black Panther for the Republic of Korea Army. Specs and Capabilities All of the K-2's design and production processes were localized to South Korea in an effort to reduce dependence on foreign allies and safeguard production in times of war. Armament-wise, the K-2 sports a German Rheinmetall CN08 120mm per liter 55 smoothbore gun that is licensed produced in South Korea. Similar to France's Leclerc MBT, the Black Panther is fitted with an automatic loader, mounted in the turret bustle. This sophisticated system can instantaneously detect, select, and load the needed type and amount of ammunition. According to Military Today, the maximum rate of fire is 15 rounds per minute, although it is significantly lower in real combat conditions. 16 rounds are stored in the autoloader, and the remaining 24 rounds are stored inside the hull. The Black Panther's armor design is derived from the tank's K-1 predecessor. As a modular system, engineers can quickly and effectively replace damaged sections, as well as incorporate updated technology as it becomes available. The K-2 features explosive reactive armor to supplement its sophisticated armor plating. The Black Panther is capable of traveling at speeds up to 70 km per hour in good conditions and can maintain speeds of around 52 km per hour in off-road conditions. As detailed by Defense News, the K-2 can climb 60-degree slopes and can surpass vertical obstacles up to 1.8 meters in height. New units produced in 2023 will be fitted with a hybrid powerpack, consisting of the rank transmission and an engine developed by Doosan InfraCore, as the homegrown automatic transmission developed by S&T Dynamics has failed in durability tests according to a report released by the Defense Acquisition Program Administration. Considering Pyongyang's increasingly hostile behavior, Seoul's formidable fleet of Black Panthers may need to be mobilized in the future.